Give me a sec, guys.
Uh, there's an elevator that goes downstairs, Hattie. You see where the office is to go talk to um, Roidsley? Look for the elevator that goes down. That's how you get to the production zone. Not following the story, I see, sir, but Vilma, are you there? Huh? Oh, it's you guys. Wait, what's Lady Farina doing here? I can explain. We've been rounding up the whole troop. We now have everyone except you. So, you think knowing the truth about the director's disappearance will help you write an ending to the script that pleases everyone. I care just as much as everyone else about making the Little Oceanid a success. That's why I wanted to wait until after the show. If I open this can of worms now, I, I just don't want to make things difficult between us. We're supposed to be a unit when we're on stage. The Amal. Avoiding the truth will not help anyone. Unless you mean to suggest that O'Reilly's death had something to do with you. I don't want to talk about it. Listen, Vimal. I used to think that my love for O'Reilly was a point of shame. I never brought it up to anyone. But now, I've made up my mind to put it all on the table. I'm prepared to face everything, to sacrifice everything for the sake of the show. The little Oceanid cannot be complete unless we do justice to Aureli on an emotional level. <sighs> this is why people think of you as not being the smart one. <laughs> as you all know already, the troupe was kept afloat not from ticket sales, but donations from the audience. Of course, that was nowhere near enough. We took on side jobs when we weren't performing, but even then, the troupe's financial situation was pretty dire. So, anyway, one day after a show, a merchant came to me and offered us a huge sponsorship. In return, we just had to provide the audience with their drinks during performances. It seemed like a win-win, so I said yes to it on the spot without consulting the director. It was only when the merchant came to deliver the goods that I realized 
the drink in question was synth. Isn't that the drink paddled by the culprit behind the serial disappearances case? I, I freaked out when I saw the boxes. And I told the director everything right away. She was completely shocked as well. But she didn't reprimand me for making the decision without consulting her. Instead, she contacted the merchant and stated that the troupe could not agree to this collaboration. The merchant was furious, berated us for going back on our word, and threatened to sue us for damages. The amount was astronomical. There was no way we'd be able to pay. <laughs> And then I was going to sort it on my own, but the director stopped me. She said that this was an issue for the whole troop and it wasn't my fault. But things only got worse from there. The synth merchant just wouldn't let up. And suddenly the director told us all to leave the city one day. I knew then that things must have reached a boiling point. I admit this whole thing was my mistake. I didn't dare to tell any of you the truth back then, and after the director disappeared, I was even more afraid to say anything. Yeah, I got Aureli killed. There, I said it! Happy now? Hey, don't say that. You traitor! You knew... Aureli was in danger! Why in God's name didn't you tell us? What do you mean, you were afraid? This was a life and death situation! We could have saved her! How could you be so stupid? Please, try not to get too worked up. Yeah, listen to him! You need to stay calm! Stay calm? How can I stay calm? This guy got Aureli murdered! She was the love of my life! And he has the gall to try and high-road us, claiming that he kept his mouth shut for the sake of the show! How about taking some responsibility for what he's done? All I can say is I'm sorry. Truly. I wanted to apologize to everyone in the troop, but... that won't bring back the director. What good is my apology now? I'm just a coward who made an awful, terrible mistake that I can never take back. Beat me up if you want. Kill me if you prefer. It's what I deserve. End my life. So I can meet the director and apologize to her in person. Get out of my sight. Go, get lost. I don't ever want to see your face again. That's enough. You've screamed and shouted at each other for long enough. Now pipe down, both of you! Can you stop conflating the show on stage with your real-life relationships in the troupe? You keep saying that you want to use this final performance to pay tribute to your director and celebrate her life. How can you do that if you're just using it as an excuse to vent your own emotions? <sighs> you're right. I'm sorry. <sighs> on stage. The lead role is the focal point of the audience's attention. And you're all used to seeing the director as the heart of the troupe. But in her own life, her greatest desire wasn't to be the center of attention. I can tell how much she loved you all, and how much she loved the troupe. What she wanted was to build a warm home for all of her brothers and sisters. To shield you all from the storms that rage in the world outside. That's how you should remember her. And that's what you should be celebrating. I understand why you're trying to make her the hero of the story, but isn't she your hero already? After everything she did for you? Yeah. So think hard about what that means. And then think again about what you hope to achieve by arguing with each other. If you really hate each other, and can't reconcile your differences, then you could just call it quits now. Why bother with the final performance if the group is already fractured? But you can't bring yourself to do that, can you? You care too much about Director O'Reilly and the home she built you all to let go. 
What are you laughing at? I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. It's just that... For a moment there... It, it felt like our director was back with us again. If she'd seen Paulo and Vilmont at each other's throats like that, she would have scolded them exactly like you did, in that same stern voice. Really? But she sounded like such a gentle person. Of course she was. Even her harshest lectures came from a place of kindness, and it showed. She really was a truly outstanding person. I... What you said, it... really puts everything into perspective. I'm truly sorry. I really meant for this to be a genuine apology, but... I ended up making it all about me and my self-pity. It's all right. Let's save all this for after the performance. So, the ending. What are we going to do about it? Clearly, everyone needs to take a step back for now and reflect on what really matters. When emotions are running high, things get lost in the fray. The end of the story needs to focus back on O'Reilly herself. She's the true star of the show. What do you mean? The Traveler is right. You once investigated that underwater synth base and recovered items belonging to the victims. If you could find anything that O'Reilly left behind, uh, perhaps we can get a better sense of what she went through in her final days. You really think that's possible? I trust that nobody would object to the ending of the story being based on O'Reilly's true feelings? No. Well, we'll leave this in your capable hands. Come, let's pay a visit to the Palais Mermonia. The rest of you, head back to the rehearsal location for now and wait for our good news. <laughs> Like the rain.
Nah, you guys can just read the the pin that the pin chat that I put up, man. I have some construction next door, so I um I won't be able to talk a lot with the mic today. That's because I turn it on when they stop using the jackhammer, bro. It's not on currently, but they're like right outside my window, man. to review some recovered items connected to victims of the serial disappearances case but um that case has been closed for quite a while now still since you were the ones who discovered and submitted the evidence in the first place you don't actually have to submit an application <laughs> okay please hold on i'll have someone dig them out so this is all o'reilly left behind just whatever she was carrying on her person and this tattered old notebook. Uh, Forrest, when I'm done with this story quest, man, you can join up and we can go farm some stuff, alright? Hey! It's full of script lines! And sketches too! Looks like they show where the different props should be placed on stage! Let me take a look. Maybe there's something in here from after she was kidnapped. Aha! I found something. To whoever discovers this diary. Let's see. Looks like she kept a detailed record of her captor's actions. She even mentions the truth behind the experiments on dissolving young women. If we'd had the chance to examine this notebook carefully back then, it would have been a conclusive piece of evidence proving Vache's guilt. Vache took so many lives. It's still so unthinkable how many victims Mona from Mondstadt. I guess O'Reilly must have written all of this down in the hope that her records would one day be of use to investigators. Uh, wait, it cuts off. Her handwriting here gets patchier and more illegible by the line. She probably didn't have much strength left. Her final words are... I'll let you read them for yourselves. I don't know if I'm reading a story or this is actually like the person's last words. So cold, so cold, so cold. Emphasizing or is this like uh, a script?
she was so terrified. She may have been a mighty hero in the eyes of her troop, but at the end of the day, she was only Ow. human. I can't bear to think how painful and lonely her final days must have been. Uh, wait. This part on the last page sounds strangely familiar. If you become human, you can reveal your secret to no one. You will face suffering and loneliness. Is this truly what you want? Isn't that the most important line in the little Oceanid? Because I am an older sister to them. Oh. So she didn't regret her decision. Even as she sat in silence, waiting for death to come. I'm sure this is what the troop would have hoped to hear as well. She had their utmost trust, admiration, and love. And she truly deserved it. <laughs> Let's go. It's time for them to learn Director O'Reilly's final thoughts. So that's what you meant, um, Hydro? Matching. So you were saying no one from Monsad likes um the main character like that? Hmm. What about No, Barbara is a deaconess, right? So I don't think she's like into him like that. Maybe Lisa? <laughs> Cause Lisa's a cougar, bro. <laughs> How old is Lisa? Do you know? Farewell. If that's the only way to convey to the audience the courage and selflessness that she showed in the face of death, then it's a meaningful way to end the story. Even in the last moments of her life, she was still leaving a trail for others to follow. She did her best to protect as many people as possible, even if it meant sacrificing herself. We know what choice her little Oceanid would have made now. I don't think any more discussion. Somewhere around her late twenties. Mm -hmm. And our well, main character world? looks like he's around maybe 15, 16. Do you think you can bring yourself to go ahead with the show? I will channel all my regret and put it into my performance. But then again, you can never the know the age of these the characters, game. man, because look at uh, Fiona. You don't need to worry about my feelings. 
This final farewell show should be about direct. Well, that's true. You shouldn't call a maiden's age, man. It's really then it seems like we inappropriate. I have a feeling that we know that uh, Farina is over 500 years old. Performance of your lives. Really? How can you be so sure when you've never even seen them perform before? <laughs> Don't underestimate my experience. <laughs> After watching a countless number of musicals, I've learned one important thing. If you want to move the audience with your music, Isn't Noel also you from Monstead? Dude, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll find out when I go on the Hangouts. All your emotion into your performance. Dude, unfortunately, to get 20 primos, you have to get all of the endings for um, the Hangouts, which is really annoying. And hope. Just the most mesmerizing things in this world. I don't believe anybody could be more committed to bringing this story to life on the stage than they are now. I wish they said does get one ending, but they want you to get all five endings. It's crazy, man. And thank you for supporting us through all this. Then, let's not delay things any longer. We need to discuss the details of the ending and get it nailed down once and for all. Actually, before that, I'd like to make a proposal. During the curtain call... Please allow me to use the director's name instead of my own. Huh? But then... After all, this role was originally meant to be played by the director. I'm just filling in for her. Besides, a role commemorating her life should be associated with her name. Well, if you're sure you're okay with that, I have no objection to it. <laughs> now we're talking like a serious acting troupe. All right, I'll leave you to fine tune your musical while I go and procure a stage. Procure a stage? Oh, it's okay. Our usual place doesn't need a reservation. That place? Oh, don't be silly. For an extraordinary show, we need an extraordinary stage. By which I, of course, mean the Opera Epiclades. Whoa, wait, what? That's a big stage. No, 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 no. that's never going to work. No, that's, that's not. Fancy for the likes that's of the us. big stage right here. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Surely you don't think that O'Reilly's story is unworthy of the grandest stage in Fontaine? <laughs> no, though that's not what I meant. It is supposed to be your grand finale, right? Believe in yourselves. Go big or go home. Bro, this is more like what we would say here. <laughs> I have no problem with it then. How about the rest of you? <laughs> go big or go home, man. I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> Thank you for giving us this opportunity. It really is a dream come true. Bro, where's Serban? Yeah, Serban, did Serban leave and he didn't say anything? If you mess this up, it'll reflect poorly on me, too. <laughs> Come on. We'll need to get the go-ahead from Nervilet. I know just where to find him. Are you dear Hydro? Did my chat break, bro? Monsieur Nervilet. Chat's okay. All right. Well, let's find out. Serban indeed left, bro. Serban, are you gonna make me call you out, man? <laughs> hey, We're giving him the low that? treatment. Looks like I guessed right. You were just guessing. I knew you'd be here. I'm here merely for a short break. It has been a while, Miss Farina. And you too, Traveler and Paimon. What might I assist you with today? This dude is so proper, man. For an event. So see... polite. So dignified. I like talking to this character, dude. He actually understand. makes me feel like... Mm. The process for booking the Opera Epicles is complex and can be somewhat cumbersome. But given that the request is coming from the three of you, I'm proud to be like to make things someone who is associated with him. The little Ocean, it is most fascinating. I'm looking forward to seeing it performed on stage. 
I will say, however, that I am surprised to see your passion for the performing arts rekindled after all that has happened. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> do I look excited? Yes. And this is the first time that I've seen you like this since your departure from deityhood. At first, I just felt bad about rejecting them. So, I wanted to learn a little bit more about their situation. But one thing led to another, and... Well... If Here Fontaine will rain when he tries to cry, in the past, it will rain in Fontaine, bro. The court, when he cr when he gets sad. Isolated cases, all while knowing very little about the human stories. This man said, "Eat their eggs for you know." Maybe it's because I thought right, I'd be an ordinary person and gained my freedom, but I've developed. New village is the only one I'd whine and lives. dine with. <laughs> all right, a question, Hydro. All right. Because forest art. <laughs> all right, Hydro. If, like you said, you named all of these characters before, right? Kitching from Liwe, Ayaka from Inazuma, Nilu from Sumeru, right, and Torina from Fontaine. Who would you like to see? You said this is good for you, right? Ether and Torina, but out of all of them, like who would you want to see? If we should really choose one, who would you want to see the? Ether settle down with man and be his wife or whatever. I'm truly delighted to see you find a new lease on life. Now that you've regained some confidence, have you had any thoughts regarding a return to the stage? Why would you suddenly ask a question like that? Well, if the little Ocean it turns out to be a great success, it will no doubt become a classic. Many theater companies are certain to add it to their repertoire. The experiences and decisions of the protagonist, Cleo, are all modeled after your own. Naturally, this makes you eminently suited to playing the leading role. It would truly be a shame if you did not take this opportunity to allow audiences to enjoy your outstanding acting talents once more. Haven't I already made myself clear? I won't act or perform in any role ever again. No exceptions. Nor do I think it is any great shame. There is no lack of fine actors or inspirational stories, either on or off the stage. This experience is a case in point. I feel like I've learned a lot, and it has already been well worth the price of admission. I must admit, though, I'm a little envious. <laughs> They're quite fortunate to be able to bid farewell to their past in such a magnificent manner. I see. Well, I'm glad to learn that you have found a role to play that you enjoy be it on the stage or not. I sincerely hope the show will serve as the grandest of finales. I will have my staff book the date and mail the relevant paperwork to the troupe once the details are confirmed. Thanks, Nervalette. You are very welcome. Bear in mind, Boris, if you wine and dine with this gentleman, you'll also get really good conversation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We had a really good conversation. How did he how did he learn to be such a gentleman though? Like when he was a dragon, because I I would assume he was a dragon who like transformed into human, right? Or turned into a human form. How did he learn to be such a gentleman, bro? Like and he's not like savage dragon you know when i think about like dragons i think about like razor right and razor isn't even like a wolf he was just raised by wolves or wolves and he's a savage right conversation regarding me of course i don't know if you're behind on the stream hydro are you behind i don't think you are it's booked thanks to my eloquent and impassioned speech Monsieur Nouvellette was moved to provide us with a fitting stage for this special performance. Alright, oh, that sounds good, man. I'll actually... Every step of the way I'll probably do Nahida's first, and then... Have all of the ingredients necessary I'll save him for last, bro. You have to save the best one for last, right? Because I have to do Kazuha's to unlock the second part of um, Nahida's main story. And last but not least, a passionate and dedicated cast. Now, let's work together. And make this show the best it can be. 
<laughs> this is truly wonderful. Let me just grab the flavor of the water from everything. We'll have to rehearse. <laughs> Fimal and I just went over some parts of the script and tweaked a few things. I think it's really going to resonate with the audience now. Wow, Hydro, don't kill me, man. Communication I remember I saw him like when Forrest joined my world. This man had a, a, a <laughs> wine glass Look in his hand, us. right? We've I thought it was so wine. Far. Forrest said it was I water. Could have pictured this scene a few days ago. <laughs> it's amazing. Even though Farina's still being a bit of a drama queen about it all, she's really fired everyone up. That man like samples and tastes water like it's an elixir. <laughs> Please feel free to give us any comments or suggestions you have. We really value your input. Hey, Loic, get over here. Time to practice the opening number. This is a pretty chill story quest, so I was expecting something a little bit more. Let's see how it ends, though. But this seems more like a hangout, bro. Even though I know like they usually get two parts of their story, right? Maybe we just didn't get the second she part. She stole the waters of life from us. She's a fraud, and she must pay for her crimes. This has nothing to do with her. The ignorance and hatred of our people is to blame. How can we hope to win back the water's favor if we don't change our ways? This guy could be useful. Take him hostage. If Cleo wants him back, she'll have to show herself. Leave this place, a oh, little Oceanid, and never, ever look back. Everyone's really throwing themselves into their roles. I haven't seen such a fine performance in a long time. <sighs> if only... What should we do? It's almost time for her to take the stage! <sighs> Why? Why does it have to be now? Hey, what's going on? You're due on stage any second now. Oh no, not again. But why? What about your new meds? Did they stop working? They've... been getting less and less effective over time. I've had to keep increasing my dose. What? I thought they cure it. So they were only managing your symptoms? I figured whatever it took to get me through this final performance. How could you do this to yourself? And after that lecture you gave me about not looking after my health. I'm sorry. I've let everyone down. You I was so reckless, bro. <sighs> This is a conversation for another time. How can the show go on without its star performer? Uh... Miss Farina? I'd like to make a request of you. Say no more. If you're sick, you need to rest. I know what you're going to ask. Loic, your character has no more scenes, correct? Oh, uh... Yeah, I think my scenes are all done. Although... I do have one more line, but I guess another guy in the troupe with a similar voice register could take it. Why? Please take Dolphy back to her place to rest. I'll sing the finale. <sighs> From the sublime to the ridiculous. After all that, everything's come full circle. Thank you, Miss Farina. I'm so sorry to put you in this position after everything you said. Never mind. What's done is done. It's really my own fault for getting in too deep. <laughs> no one likes regrets. Myself included. Leave it to me. I've watched you rehearse so many times that I've learned Cleo's part by heart. I do not doubt your acting skills, but please allow me to ask just one more question. After all, this show is dedicated to the life and legacy of our director. What, in your opinion, is the reason Cleo shines so brightly? It's her pure heart. Despite all the pain and loneliness she had to endure, she never once stopped believing in the beauty in this world. 
Well said. I leave Director O'Reilly in your hands. To get here. She's not coming. You're wrong. She's here. your wish my wish if you become human you can reveal your secret to no one you will face suffering and loneliness is this truly what you want Well, that was actually better than I expected, bro. It said near, dude. You play near, man. Near is godlike, bro. Did you see the Did anime? Who was that lady Farina on the stage just now? That was. She hasn't been seen for a while now, and she just appears out of nowhere. Gotta say though, her acting skills are as superb as ever. The little Oceanid, Cleo, played by Aureli Fumo. You completed the game. I've never played it, bro. I've only watched the anime, man. Wait, that's not her name. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's just a doppelganger. I've spent a lot of time out of the spotlight, and they didn't use my name during the curtain call either. Hopefully, not too many people recognized me. It's too bad that I had to break the one clear rule I'd managed to make for myself, even if I had no choice. Still, I have to admit that... Despite everything, it felt good to be back on the stage again. Finally, we would like to give a special thanks to our artistic consultant and event coordinator, Miss Farina. Hey, that's not what we agreed on. Woo! Oh, Miss Farina. So it was Farina after all. Yeah. She's back. Uh, honestly, what is he doing? He should have run that by me first. All right, calm down. Don't be mad. This was a group decision. 
We just didn't want your contributions to go unacknowledged. After all, it's been the rule in Fontaine since ancient times that everyone's work, visible or invisible, is equally deserving of recognition. Yes, I know the rule, but... but... Uh, it should still be applied on a case-by-case -case basis! I wasn't ready for this yet. I? Uh, it's no big deal. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah? Well, since you think it's so easy, you can sign them for me. This is a great chat and all, but can we talk about that crazy thing that happened during the show? It nearly gave Paimon a heart attack. Paimon flew over to where she was supposed to be and was about to drop the prop vision, and then suddenly, a real one popped out of thin air! Oh, uh, that... <laughs> I've got no idea what happened there either. But, hey, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I'll bet the audience has never seen such a realistic prop. Wait, what about Dolphy? I wonder how she's doing. Oh, um, let's go check on her as soon as we finish clearing the stage. Yes. Plus, she'll definitely want to hear how the end of the show went. If nothing else, we can safely say that we accomplished what we set out to do. Ah, you're back. She's doing okay. Her condition stabilized after taking some of her original medication. From experience, though, I'd say she still needs a few more days of rest. How did the performance go? Was it a success? Did the audience like it? You'll be glad to know it was fantastic! Also, you're not gonna believe what happened while Farina was on the stage! You'll probably be able to read all about it in the Steamford first thing tomorrow morning! That's wonderful. I'm so sorry I failed to see it through to the end. I guess I was wrong to try and tough it out to begin with. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Like they told me after announcing my name during the curtain call, everyone's work deserves recognition. Even though you couldn't see it through to the final scene, the audience was very impressed by your performance. It's safe to say that you made your mark on this memorial show. <laughs> well, one way or another, we did it. I've had bad luck ever since I was born, so I never expect things to go smoothly in life. I'm just happy to know that we went out on a high note. That's all that matters. Blaming your bad luck again, are we? Maybe if you didn't push yourself past your limits so much, your illness wouldn't be flaring up all the time. Oh, don't you start. I don't have the energy to argue with you right now. Aw, you two clearly care a lot about each other. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You mean, we never stop arguing with each other. So, any plans for the next step? After the brilliant performance you put on, the reputation of your troupe is sure to spread through Fontaine like wildfire. You won't have to disband if you don't want to. You could capitalize on the rave reviews and license out the little Oceanet to the bigger theater troops out there. That would do wonders for your financial situation. No, we should still disband. Yeah. It's what we all agreed to. After all that's happened, I should give you guys some space. But maybe our paths will cross again one day. Hey, don't just walk up! Ugh. 
I still want to keep performing, so I might join another troupe. After watching Miss Farina's performance, I think I'm starting to understand our director's infatuation with musicals. <laughs> you should do it. It suits you. I'd originally hoped to keep performing too, but I don't know if my health will allow me to. Oh, so now you finally got your priorities in order. <sighs> I guess I'll hold off until you've properly recovered as well. What about you, Miss Farina? Any future plans? Well, frankly, I think a return to obscurity is no longer an option for me. I'm sure a slew of consultancy requests will hound me wherever I go until I finally acquiesce. You rather sealed my fate there with your special thanks at the end of the show. Sorry. It's quite all right. No need to apologize. What I meant to say is that this whole experience has shown me that perhaps I'm not as averse to a return to the stage as I previously imagined. Maybe Nervilette was right. Maybe Cleo is the right role for me. I still don't wish to pretend to be someone else, but I do have a desire to express myself. So maybe the show will go on for me after all. Yeah, there was once a time when I was an actress in a masquerade, seeking only to hide the truth. But from now on, I want to spend my time learning real stories about real people and how they touch the lives of others around them. I want to watch them blossom and wither, see them refined on the page, retold on the stage and remembered long into the future. I'm sure this is what captivated director O'Reilly as well. Sounds like you're ready to stop running from your true calling. The more you get out into the world, the more you'll discover what a fascinating place it is. <laughs> then it's a deal. If a vision is a gift from the gods, then I should do my best to honor it. All right, I draw. Bro, just imagine, man. I just I'm getting to use my two favorite characters, bro. This dude is a god, man. And I also have the bay. Right, let's get oh shit i didn't read what i was supposed to do
Did I get everything? I don't even know if I got everything, man. What are you gonna look interesting? Trial? Great days debate event. Bro, sometimes you guys will say things. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, man. Alright, uh, Forrest, are you ready, bro?
Time itself is a silent song. Uh -huh. Exactly! Okay. But none of them believed me! You are not solidified. This is good. Hey, hey, go away. Propagate. Spring for it. You do it. Yeah. Stabilize. Stabilize! Order time! Welcome! Yeah. Settle down! Let the mind so. be humble!
Boats are made for transferring to my This is order. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But what? Not stable this is order. Hey. The mighty is humble. Spring Kinder, welcome to the stream, bro.
are not well, I will have order. Uh, terminate! Be sanctified. You play! You're out! Now you're yeah. testing my patience. Bro, it seems like we don't need a pyro to make those explode, man. <laughs> I don't know, Kinder. I don't really like just add people like that, man. You'll probably have to come around more often before I add you to my my um friend list, man. Cryo damage bonus. Dude, I just need this to be uh, HP or something, bro. This sucks. Yo, you know what I just noticed, Forrest? Those uh, explosions, those bloom explosions aren't that far off from your your Kamehameha, man. I'd be seeing 13k being hit, man. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> On those explosions, bro. Bro, I just need this to be HP, man.
My time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. Stabilize! This is order! Be sanctified! Solidify! Don't get it, you're right! Be 
Solidify! This you yeah. are not welcome! <laughs> yeah. Don't get it, you Let away! the mighty Stay be humble! Germinate! Good? Uh, yeah, I'm testing my patience! Uh, uh, gotcha! Uh, well...
This is <sighs> Bow your heads, be sanctified. Order guide you. Huh. Germany! Silence! Let the mighty humble! Solidify! I will have order. Here! Strength for it! Bro, when you're doing the highest level domain, man, they need to give us, like, a higher drop rate for the purple ones, bro. Like, what is this shit? Or they need to raise the amount we get, like, why do you only get two for doing this, man? Shit, this is not fair. You know that, right, Forrest? So, this is order. <laughs> hey, not my field. Yo, what's up, Ronaldo? How are you today, bro? Yeah, I remember I should... I remember you need those dandelions. You can join... Yeah, you can join my world when we're done here. Um, you don't have to farm some whopper flowers. Wait, we need whopper flowers? You don't have to farm some whopper flowers after forest? You just finish a roleplay server? Bro, I don't know what a roleplay server is, man, to be honest. I know I need, um... Yes, we could farm. I mean, if you're not really up for it, man, it's fine. I need the whopper flowers and I need um those you know those floating water things that's in Fontaine and all over the world. I need those for her weapon as well. You hate whopper flowers? <laughs> I know man. I hate them too. <laughs> I thought I had enough.
Oh, yeah, you're talking GTA roleplay. Wait. Like. GTA 5, but with real people playing as cops and stuff, role players, banks, and all. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know I know about it, bro, yeah. I know that roleplay. I thought, when you said roleplay, I thought you meant, like, in Genshin or something. Yeah. Huh? Dude, everyone should hate the Whopper flowers, man. I thought I had enough, bro, to be honest, but apparently I'll need more. But it's fine, man. We can just go kill the water things instead. And then, um... I have two servers. One zombie just like Call of Duty and one open. That's godlike, bro. I could slowly like just use um the book and get the the whopper flowers over the next month or so, right? So we can just do the water ones. I will have order. I'm almost done getting the flowers though. How much flowers do you have so far, um, forest? Lake light lilies. Because I think I'm close to done. I only need like 169, right? Yeah, these things. How many of these do you have? Because I'm almost done collecting them. I just need to collect them one more time in my world and I'm done. You can have the rest if you want. Y'all like 38? Yeah, bro. I collected them last night, so in two days, I'll have all of them and you can get the rest. Uh, Forena, Ronaldo. Alright, you ready, bro? Stabilize. This is order. You wanna kill this one first? Artifact run today was disgusting, man. I got like trash artifacts the entire time. My headset is kind of loud. Look at this. Fifty is good. No, I don't play 5F, uh, 5M, no. I don't even play GTA, bro. I only tried it one time back in the day, and then I just didn't try it again. Wait, what do I need for my sword? I need money, right? I'm out of Mora. I have to make sure I have enough before my character gets here, man. She's coming. Uh, that's a word in the streets, bro. 
Wait, how did that explode? Wait, wait, what? How did those explode? It seemed like they had like a fire reaction. That's the word in the streets, Ronaldo. Nah, I think that's enough. You know the water monsters and we got leaks? You know the water things I was talking about? Hey, Ronaldo, you can join our world now, man, and get the dandelions. Uh, you know the... Wait, do you want fungi as well, Forrest? I could use some fungi, bro. You don't need any more? Bro, you already farmed off it in your world, man. Uh, alright. How about... Do you need the water things? I'm farming that for Furina's weapon. You know the water things I'm talking about, right? Dude, why is the wind blowing this chicken sh and the wind is not blowing my character? For the transformer thingy? Dude, I don't even know what the transformer thingy is, bro. Hey, Ronaldo, you should join up, man. Because after we're done farming, I'm probably going to do something like some story stuff or something. Or maybe I'll just do some exploration, I don't know. I do love Bro, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my book, right? Just explore. Uh I don't know. I'll have to look on my um thing and see. I might do some world events. I'll start doing um quests that give me primos. I'm starting to like stack up on primos, bro. I'm hoarding that for my character gets here. I wanna wish for her weapon and her and then try and get constellations for her as well. Uh enemies. Um, why am I not seeing them in here? You know the creatures I want to kill, right, Forrest? Oh, yeah, came to the Hydro Phantasm. You got somewhere you are? I mean, yeah, for it. All right. <laughs> Bro, what do you call the transformer thingy, man? Where am I? Oh wait, do I not have the teleport point on? Oh, uh, that's my bad, bro. <laughs> Yo, I hear gunshots.
Dude, look at these drops, man. You're getting even purple drops. Like, you can't get that shit in the domains. It's annoying. From this world? Oh, that's auto. Dude, I hear gunshots. <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro. And said this is his home wait is this one of those um oh it's an artifact domain i thought it was one of those uh open world exploration ones man those are pretty fun bro they probably should add more of those Everywhere exploding, man. Imagine.
Give me a sec, bro. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Come on, let's get a move on. over there can we take a sneaky peek huh can we up nice and carefully. Don't drop anything. Why do so many people make such a big deal out of seeking the Adepti? There's Adepti everywhere, isn't there? There'll be an extra fee for that. Ah, I'll... I'll think about it.
Board on the road.
I'll keep this close. Keep this close. Reward on the road.
Yo, what's up, Night Owl? How are you, bro? How is the character building coming, man? And how is the new monitor? I'm just chilling, man. Was in here uh, doing some story stuff, then got some help from Forest. We had a great time today, bro. We're just farming. I don't know most of the stories, so we're just chilling now, man. Exploring our region, like stacking up, building, saving up primos for when our character comes out. Where is this? I think this one goes in a tree, right? Character building is slow though. That and I also farm up our primos that I used up Yemen. <laughs> okay bro, I get it man. Things are going so smoothly today. I forgot about this place. Uh did you do your ascension quest yet by the way? If I uh, don't construct them? Bro, I fucking I hate these things, man. Maybe I wasn't meant for this world. Dude, that should kill you so fast. Second phase of banners will give out more primos. Let the show begin. Have you been doing this, uh, the new event that they put in the game? Collect your daily primos, man. got some good news like I heard that uh, Final Fantasy Dawn Trail will be releasing at the end of is it when was it again was it July so the thing is even if I'm done doing everything in Genshin I'll have something else to keep playing until we get uh, not long. a reward on the road the one with the new pole arm or that other one not a pole arm one man that one was boring bro the, the new one where you use two characters and take photographs or some shit while you fight. Haven't started the next event yet? It's pretty chill, man. You should try it, bro. It's it's more fun than that um potion one. <laughs> See me there. I have two rocks on this mountain, I think. I haven't, like... Uh, I think I already break some of them. this 
I need to mark this and come back and do it. Yeah, quest. There's like some rock piles in here. Yeah, dude, you should. I mean, you have time though, um, Nighthole. Are you finally done with construction? What construction of uh, forest? I was supposed to ask you that. My bad. <sighs> oh, you mean next door? I mean, they might be on a break. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the jackhammer is off, so can talk now. <laughs> I think I already killed this thing and got the the box that it was guarding. Then I did this. This led me to. Was it uh what you call it? That thing in the sky. There was a ceiling. I followed the ceiling. I took it down to that house, and then there was a geoculus, I think. So. There's in a balloon is on top of this mountain. I already did the mechanical thing. There's a rock pile behind me. I already used the ceiling. There is a balloon and a wind thing. I guess the wind thing takes you over there. This wind thing. There is a rock pile. Probably already got the rock pile. Maybe. You see how careful I am around this thing, bro? <laughs> no one likes that thing, man. Let's dance. I guess that was just for the event. 